Hello everyone, uh, today I would like to tell you a little bit about our probiotic reef salt, which is uh, one of uh, three salt that we have in offer. We have sea salt, which is dedicated for fish only tanks or uh, soft coral as well. And we have our reef salt, which is more for, for coral reef, and we have probiotic reef salt. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of different talking about this salt. Some people say that, that will, uh, that it, most of the people don't know really what it's, what it's for. It's a little bit more expensive that it's reef salt, uh, but there is a re reason behind this. Uh, because this salt, the probiotic reef salt, uh, has about parameters. Uh, main parameters like a calcium, magnesium, alkalinity and, and, and trace elements are more or less the same that reef salt. Uh, but, but, where, where is the difference? Here you will find probiotic bacteria, uh, you will find amino acids, you will find some vi vitamins inside. And what is for? What is the purpose of the salt? This is the, the question that I could tell you about it, that, that, that answer this question here. So the difference is because these probiotic bacteria are there for reduce nutrients. So reduce PO4, NO3, so phosphate and nitrates. And in the same time, these bacteria, when they land, if I can say, in your system, so when it, the salt is dissolved and it will, uh, it will be introduced to your tank, it will, for this bacteria for growing, they absorb phosphate and nitrate, so they consume that. And what happened? After some time, after let's say 24 hours, they are dying with this, uh, with this, with this uh, phosphate inside, and they become a bacterial plankton in the same time. And, and, and this bacterial plankton is eaten by coral, and the rest of it, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's skimmed by, by skimmer. So, uh, so that's uh, of course. Beside that, like I said that there's a vitamin C inside, but but the vitamin C is uh, is crucial for for uh, for most of the the living creature creatures that we have in our uh, in our uh, tanks. But this vitamin C it's also it's also in the reef salt. And so, if we get the, there are some different questions. So can I use the reef salt and the probiotic reef salt? Just one, one week water change with this one and what another yes it's uh, it's it's yes it's very recommended personally in my tank tanks at home if I have some problems with uh, nitrates so the nitrates or 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 phosphates so the nutrients so I make two water change let's say week by week I make two water change of that to lower these nutrients it's it's, it's very very soft way to reduce nutrients and so there is not too much risk uh, to do it too drastically and and so so this is this is how uh, it could be used and in the same time there's there is no problem to use it when you need it and just drop it and and of course you can do it all time but just be aware of something because this is very effective way to reduce nutrients so we don't want to strip water from nutrients because nutrients are necessary for for uh, for corals uh, in our tanks of course not in exceed not too much but in the same time absolute zero it's not uh, it's not something that we want to have so i strongly recommend for anybody of you that have some some uh, nitrates phosphates issue just use it and you will see the result uh, after a few water changes in the same time. I, I see some questions about, about this product. May I do 20, 30 water uh, percent of what they change? No, we recommend not more. We recommend 10%, 50%. It's, it's already enough. It's, it's a max that we recommend at once to do. And I will tell you why. It's not only because you will find bacteria inside uh, that will reduce this phosphate. But in the same time, just try imagine that uh, that this this fresh what this fresh uh, salt mix have zero phosphate, zero nitrates, and in the same time have the bacteria that that will that will reduce the nutrients that you will have in the tank. So what will happen if you do, for example, thirty percent of water change with this kind of salt? 
even if there is no bacteria inside, you will do this water change and you will reduce in one moment 30% of your nitrate and phosphate that you have in your tank in one moment just with water change. And beside that, this bacteria will additionally reduce it. So what will happen? Uh, that in one moment or one 24 hour, you can reduce uh, nitrates by 40% uh, and phosphates. In one, if you have high nutrients, so high phosphate and nitrates, that will not be well seen. So uh, corals could react. All drastic change are not necessarily good. Uh, so so uh, even this one that it could be theoretically for good, but but to reduce it to reduce it in in a short period of time, uh, I'm not sure. Sh I'm quite sure it's, it will your coral not love it. So that's why we said okay, do it. The water change slowly and do it one, uh, let's say 50, 10, 10% by week. So that was the reason. The other question that this happens sometimes, why this, this water should be used in 24 hours after, after it, if it's salted mix? Because this bacteria have certain, uh, certain uh, life, uh, they, they live in, in the water for, for, uh, without any external, uh, external source of food, they can live for 24 hours. If they will land in, in, if it will be water changer, they will land in your in your uh, system. That's another story. They can survive for a little more. But if it stays in the container uh, without any other source that you will that, that the bacteria will find in the salt itself, they will not survive. When you will, if something happened and you will make the water change after this 24 hour that we recommend, it's, it doesn't mean that it will hurt your corals or something like that. It will be just a normal reef salt without any, any beneficial uh, effect that is coming from the bacteria uh, that it's already here. Uh, so that's the reason that we don't recommend to do it after 24 hours. It's not because it will harm your corals. Uh, okay, uh, just uh, that was uh, some, some, uh, some, some advice. If you have any question, just ask it below uh, and I will be happy to to answer you uh, about probiotic reef salt. <laughs> Thank you and stay tuned.